What's cooking good looking? It's obviously not a bull market because we have red candles with Bitcoin. We are crashing, friends. I can't tell you the frustration. Every single time we get our hopes up, this freaking Ponzi just goes down. And we're on a one-minute candle chart, and hopefully this starts to reverse because at the end of the day, the big picture is still the same. But it is frustrating to see why won't you go up. I'm going to tell you what's going on, friends. We actually have nothing to be worried about. Because if we go to the weekly time frame, Bitcoin is still in the zone. You see that zoom up on that one minute cut candle? That's what everybody's looking at. We are waiting. We're like, what happened to BlackRock? What happened to all these good news? There was a lot of good news coming out. The SEC gets defeated by XRP, right? And you're seeing all this positive news. You're wondering, why isn't the price going up? Well, let me tell you something, friends. Now you are learning the cycles of speculation. It is a very hard game. You always got to know what everyone else is doing so you're not on the same side, okay? I did not know the balance sheet of FTX here, okay? I didn't know their balance sheet. I don't know SBF. I didn't know who he was banging on those little bean bags. I had no idea. But all I knew was weak hands were crying and weak hands were selling. That's what I knew. That's all I needed to know. All I needed to know is what the weak hands were doing. So that's why when you see respected community members tell you Bitcoin 100,000 or your coin's going at $10, 100x, 500x, 1,000x, I don't care, man. I don't care how nice they are. I'm not doubting they're not nice. Yes, if they invited us over, we would have cookies. They would make us orange juice, three ice cubes. I'm not denying that. They're nice people. I'm just telling you they're on the same side, Habib. And Habibis, they're on the same side. You can't be on the same side as them. This game does not reward the majority. The majority price it in, always. By definition, that's how these things work. So even though Bitcoin is up here, we had this good news coming out. We're starting to wonder, like, hey, where's our big fat green candle? Want to know what's interesting? Let me tell you something. This is funny, right? When was the biggest Bitcoin green candle? Look at this one. We went up 21% in a week. There was no news here. It was literally no news. It was just, we're done with the bear market. You see that? What about this? What about this green candle? Okay, this one is huge as well. We went up 25% USDCD peg, and then people believe, they said, oh, wow, there is, um, there's something to do with the banks going down. What about BlackRock ETF and all these other good news at the top? It can't do anything. It's a 5%. Now, the SEC losing and everything doing good, there's a 20% move here, but the most important one was the bottom. You see this? The most important candle was the bottom here. There was no news. It was just time to go up, new year. You see that? The market will go up and we will invent a narrative. And the narrative was, well, we're just done with the bear market. That's all you need to know. The weak hands are getting out. And there's been a long-running curse, friends. This is very, very interesting to show you this. This is crazy, okay? So this is officially, this is the seventh time in a row, all right, in the, in the past, like, year and a half, multiple years, actually, seventh time where... When Chainlink rallies, it literally marks doom. Bitcoin's about to nuke. And you know me, I am super analytical when it comes to markets, correlation. I'm always looking for these nuances. So when I first heard about it, I thought, nah, it's probably 50-50. Then I started tracking it. I was like, oh, wow, there, it's actually a curse. There is something sinister, something weird going on here. Literally, every single time Chainlink is green, you go on Twitter, the Link Marines, we are all saying, uh-oh, Chain link's green. You know what that means? Bitcoin's about to dump. And it's happened seven times. And not just like little dumps. I mean like big ones, huge ones. This might be the eighth or the ninth one, depending on if it recovers. It is insane how frequent this is. And it's literally just chain link. Chain link precedes the market. I think back in 2018, 2019, it was Litecoin. I think Litecoin was the one that was front running Bitcoin back then. But it was crazy. But actually, see, chain link is going the opposite way. So these nuances happen, right? So Chainlink goes up and then Bitcoin dumps. But Litecoin in the previous cycle, Litecoin was front running uh, Bitcoin a bit. So I'm just like, here I am asking, how is it possible there's a strike rate of 100% on this? It's like one of the worst, weirdest conspiracies ever. Some of these things you just don't have an answer for. You just got to take them for what they are. But what's important as well is this is the weekly chart. This is the super trend. So remember, the super trend is just three ATRs. So if your average range is this little squiggly line, they go, what's three times that distance up here and three times down there? And they say, hey, if your squiggly line goes up, that's a significant trend. And they'll go, okay, you are now bullish. That's all it does. 
So you can see now we've been bearish for a long time. Okay, so you can see here when we closed here, we we're never able to close back above and it leaves the line there. But it's very interesting. We were procked green. We flipped green, but because of this Bitcoin little jibby jabby, we're now right on that little zone. And why is this important? Well, on small time frames, you can flip these very easily. There's there's no edge there. But for weeklies, it's very hard to manipulate consistently. You need a lot of money to do it. That's why these are really reliable in crypto when you can put things on a weekly and observe them. We are so close, friends. Look how close we are. Like, wow, can't you just close on top? Please, please, please. When this happens, there were big moves, okay? So there was an 8x rally. There was a 4x rally and plus 50% scam rally, okay? There was a plus 50% fake out and then we went down. So you can see it's very rare. This signal is very rare if we can close above because that means that's what's coming next, right? So here's like one of them, right? This is a huge one. This is from the bull market. You can see this 8, 9, 10x. Look at this one as well. This is huge. 8, 9, 10x. I mean, these these are big, right? These are, these are huge. These are huge. Look at this. When you cross it, when you cross the trend, look how high it went up. 9 to 10x. I might have even missed one. Like that's how... That's how crazy they are. So this one was a fake out. So we go up, we hit plus 50%, and then we dump back down. But this was zombie virus. You see, March 2020, zombie virus. It only took the zombie virus to make us flip that aggressively. So we're still waiting and seeing what's going on. Now, a lot of you are wondering, like, if you don't own Chainlink, that's fine. But just to let you know, Chainlink's important to watch because Chainlink is a representation of DeFi and legit projects in crypto. So we have been seeing hamster racing and casinos and absolute degenerate coins moving. And usually they mean doom's about to come. That because that means people are getting bored and they're waiting for the next move. And if you're waiting for the next move, it means the buyers have run out. Okay, that's why it marks doom. It means everybody who's wanted to buy for every reason, they're now in. And now we just have bored people playing around. So when you run out of people to buy, because in crypto, there's inflation all the time. You know, there is Bitcoin, there's mining. With Ethereum, it's handing out yield. So that's why if you do nothing, I mean, obviously this is a microcosm of everything, because if you do nothing, if there is no growth, crypto dumps, because we're just handing out inflation coins to people who are just auto dumping. So that's why we need buyers. And a bull trend ends when you run out of buyers, it has nothing to do with the sellers coming in. It's just you've run out of buyers. That's why when people start to play with degenerate coins, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you right now, that's why it's important to watch. So if Chainlink starts going up, it probably is an indicator that, that people don't want to do these meme coin scams anymore, okay? And that DeFi, resurgence, people looking at legit projects, people who want to come in with bigger size money, they're starting to get more confidence again. So here is, I mean, it's super, super funny. Just want to show you, right? So hamster racing, right? So I'm not even joking. This thing went up like 383X. I'm not making this up in a week. Obviously, do not touch it. Don't buy it. I can't believe I have to tell people not to buy it. Please, this is the cutest little thing. It's actually hamster racing. People betting on hamsters and them racing, okay? So just want to let you know, okay? So people are looking for ways to make money in the bull market. Lately, there's been optimistic bubbling up in altcoins. We're even now seeing hamster racing. People have now thrown out the pebby and all these other stuff, right? 383x in a week. So you got to be careful, right? Larger and copy coins and other hopeful projects, they will struggle. They'll be dead weight because people want new. You're appealing to people with like very short-term preferences. People who want, who can only think about, you know, now, now, now. So most people are trying to make a big home run win with like one sweet move. And you're seeing on Twitter, there's a lot of these people who say, this guy had 100K, now he's got 900K in his wallet. See how he did it. And it's always, he he was one of the fluker who got um, the flukes who bought one of the coins early. That's it. So by the time you hear about a project, it's usually too late. 99% of the time, it's too late. You need something fundamentally backing. That's why I show you adoption rates, liquidity. I show you a lot of information to come in to back everything up. So... Most of the time we hear about it on alt, an altcoin, on crypto, Twitter, YouTube, it is way too late and we are now the exit liquidity. The big targets are coming out. Especially when you start, when something's gone up, what people start going is they go, oh, this other thing went up $4 billion, so we should still go up another like 6x. When you start, when you start seeing that, see how I've got your eyes to focus on here, when really what's happening is people are now dumping now. They're dumping now, 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 now. They're dumping now because they, they, they fooled you. They got you to look at the sky. They got you to look upwards into the sky and now they're actually dumping. So you got to be careful. The game is getting harder, friends. It's getting more competitive. Okay, so as well, here we go. Most influencers' competitive competitive edge is actually, it's, it's not finding a coin. It's buying the coin first 
and then shilling it to their circles. You guys, uh, everybody underestimates because you got to assume there is about a 1% action rate from people, 1%. So if there are, look at this, this is how scammy it is. If there are, if there are three influencers with 50,000 followers each, okay, three influencers, 50,000 followers each, they have 150,000 people. If you do 1% of those, you have 1,500 people who are going to come in and buy. 1%, very high chance. And guess what? How much are they going to put in? They might put in like 1,000 bucks, half an ETH. You got $1.5 million of pressure, man. $1.5 million of pressure. That is very, I mean, look, even if I was concerned, even if I was too optimistic by like a factor of three, if you divide it by three, you have $500,000 coming in. People are buying stuff with a liquidity of like 30K, 50K, 100K. So people come in with 500K, they start pushing it up. They give them the two to three X and it starts to be the whirlwind. And if my original numbers were right, which they really are, it could be one and a half million dollars of liquidity injected. Do you see how people get scammed? And people, the influencers will tell you, no, 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 it's my skill. But really it's not, it's not their skill. Yeah, their skill is getting a following. That's their skill. Their skill isn't being some sort of market reader. And I'm here to tell you because I've learned it the hard way, okay? I've seen this over time. So you can you can learn this the easy way or the hard way, friends. <laughs> really, it's up to you. You are my baby doll, baby cake. You're a straight posture. No matter what, I'm going to help you every step of the way. So they are grifters. Me and you, we are the product. When we watch them, we are the product. So you got to make sure you don't get fooled, okay? If you want to play their game, okay, you got to throw only breadcrumb money. 100 bucks, $50, see if it hits. You get to learn. You get to see the win rate. That's the, imp that's the most important part. You get to like throw in eight things. You're like, oh, wow, only one thing went like 7x. So, you know, what do most people do wrong? They start with like 8K, right? 8K and they're like, okay, I hope this does like a 30X. I'll get out of the first 10X. But what they don't know is they're buying the top. That's what happens mostly, okay? And of course, most of the time, you will only realize you bought the top when it starts dipping, even if a coin only went like a total of 8x, you think, oh, it should get, a, should get another 10x. Nope. Most of the time, you're buying the top 99% of the time. Now, of course, this game could change in 2024. What I mean by that is when there are higher waves of people coming in, when there are more waves, when we are seeing Bitcoin in a bigger part of the trend, so maybe towards the Bitcoin halvening here or when we've crossed the Bitcoin halvening, during this time, so I want to tell you right now, you're probably wondering like, because it's so much death right now, but during this time, there was just so much money coming in and you could feel it. It was on TV. Every YouTube influencer was saying, someone just put in $400 million or this 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 big CEO said he's buying Bitcoin. Because of this, it drums up the publicity. So you know you have about one, two, three months of activity in the background. So that means if you buy something and it dips, okay, you can still see. So even though you might wake up and your coin is down like 40% off the top, it goes up, goes back down. But when you're looking at influencers, they are reporting on stuff in the media, in the news. They're talking about like, there are people saying like, oh, I support Bitcoin. And like some random movie star will say, yeah, crypto is really cool. And they're doing NFTs. And a lot of things start appearing in the news. So even though you are seeing the price go down momentarily, the fundamentals, the adoption is making so much noise that's when you're like, buy the dip, buy the dip, buy the dip. There's so many people. And you're watching Telegram and you're watching all these Discord and social medias. Everybody's numbers are going up. You know, everyone's going, numbers are going up. So, you know, someone might share video YouTubes on CNBC, on Twitter, and instead of like a 1,000 views, this guy's got like 8,000, 9,000 views. You're watching BitBoy, you're watching Crypto Banter, and they're like, oh, guys, we used to get 30,000 views per show in the, in, the, um, in the bear market. Now we're getting 180,000. There's five times as many people here, and they're all coming in. And they're, you know, so, so you can see all of this whirlwind. That is a completely different than scenario than hamster racing. <laughs> do you know? Do you know what I mean? Like these cute little hamsters racing. So right now it's nothing, but that's the landscape that will be different. And I've spent so much time here telling you about it because there must be a fundamental reason why we switch and how we switch. Why do most people get things wrong, friends? They stay bearish too much, or they stay bullish too much. Okay, they never have a price. Now, on average, you actually succeed in life if you don't try to play the big swings and you just stay bullish, permanently bullish. You do win over time. But for us, while crypto has this edge, why not take advantage of it? While people have their pants down and while we can see this whirlwind, we have to use every bit of competitive edge we can get. Because we know these crypto influencer grifters, we are their competitive edge. That's what we don't understand. Look at this, this cute little pepper with no plate in the food. This is literally us, okay? We don't know. See this Pepe himself? This Pepe himself, he is the fruit. He is the fruit that served on the platter. 
for the influencers. The influencers be like, oh, okay, there's 100,000 people. I've got 250,000 people. I'm going to show them this. We are just a number to them. We are the fruit. These guys and girls, they are not winning with buy and hold. They wish they had the skills that we had, right? They're not really skills, friends. It's just bravery and guts. You just got to be brave. You don't really have to be super smart. You need bravery and guts, okay? They do not have that skill. That's why they're constantly taking, taking their money back for a 2X or a 3X. You know why? It's because they know their edge is just their audience, okay? If you had an edge, like a real edge, like what I have, you're not getting out for a two or three X. You know the value of something. Warren Buffett is not selling Coca-Cola if it, if it rallies plus 10% one year. But like that 10% is huge for Coca-Cola, okay? He held it for like 40, 50 years in a row. He has since the 70s, right? He's made billions of billions. His dividends is like a billion dollars per year. You, do not, you don't give up your gem, your diamond. You don't sell it for a penny, even if the penny is now worth three pennies tomorrow. You don't care. You say, oh, three pennies is better than one penny. But no, it's not. It's, they're not pricing it like a diamond. So I don't really care, okay? I want the diamond price. I'm holding out for the diamond, okay? Now, don't misconstrue this. There's, there's People can take this in the wrong direction, but this is the fundamental reason why. It's because we believe in what we're doing. We understand this game of speculation and investing and markets and how everything's working. These other influencers, these other grifters, they're trying to harm me and you. They know, they don't go, oh, you know, this hot thing, it's all about the new hot thing. Because they can only think of today, they're buying stuff like, they're buying branded items. They're buying, like, all they care about is cars and money, 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 cars, 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 cars. That's right. These people are so emotionally attached to dollars. They will never be able to make it to the end, friends. Never. Do you think it's going to be easy to even make it? If there's a, if there's a Bitcoin halvening pump and dump, right, with, the, with BlackRock, do you think they're going to be able to actually sit through that? There are people who are going to see their portfolios go back to, like, 300K, go back to 100K. Okay, and then that means when it's on the back up to 200K, they're going to start getting out. And we're going to get out because who cares about these numbers, man? 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, it does not matter. The game is the game. You got to play the game. So don't forget right now, we are still in PvP mode right now, but it will change. It will change. We're still early. Once people start getting in, it's too late. And then we'll know it's the final wave. It's the media attention wave. So you know what to do, right? I've already told you. Stack most of your coins in the cork. Stack most of your coins, okay? Most of your bullets, DCA money, keep slicing it in, all right? We've had too much time to accumulate here. I don't want to see anybody buying as soon as we clear this zone at all. No more buying. We're done. There's too much potential scamming, early bull run, early bull run finish. Too much potentials of there. You've had plenty of time to accumulate right here. Have this zone. Like, look at this. Like, this This is this is altcoins, friends. This is literally, this is the casino. This altcoin index this is the casino. Forget Bitcoin. Forget Ethereum, okay? The amount of people that are going to get absolutely destroyed, bag holding them in the next cycle, is, is going gonna, is gonna to flip your mind out, okay? And you're going you're gonna to be amazed because in the next cycle, what you're going to see is, okay, because we're probably going to have a shortened cycle here to go on faster. We're going to see a split, okay, in the next cycle even more. So what we're going to see is in the next bear market, I can, I can already see it right now. I can smell it. It's very, very clear, friends. Clean, fresh smell. We're going to see the people who bought Bitcoin under $1,000 and Ethereum under $200, they're going to be on one side and then there's going to be everybody else, okay? You're literally going to see the split because why? Why is that? Because altcoins are going to at least give you 10Xs. They're going to give you 10Xs. Good altcoins are going to give you a 10 banger, right? When you're making, okay, look at this. When, when Bitcoin was back in 2015 to 2017 and Bitcoin gave a 100x, which is what it did. So Bitcoin in this run did a 100x from here to here, okay? From the bottom to the top, 100x. It was beautiful. Ethereum did 4,500x. But 100 times your money is great, you know? 10 grand into a million, that's great, all right? In the next cycle, 20x. 20x is still great. 20x is still great. Now, nobody went all in with me except a few people, okay? But 20x is still great. It's not 100x, but 20x is still great. But what we're going to see in this next cycle, now the numbers are going to get ridiculous, ridiculous, because now if we get scammed, I hope we don't, I hope we go all the way up, but if we get scammed, we're looking at a 4 to 5x. You are looking at a 4 to 5x, and unfortunately, if this happens, look at this here. I'm moving my, I'm moving my cursor to 2026. You know what that would mean? This is what everybody's going to do. I'm going to do this too. I'm going to go 2026. I'm going to go all the way back to the year 2017. And I'm going to say, wow. Okay. So look at this. If you go to 2017 
all the way up there. Look at this, 3,000 days for a 2X, friends. You see that? Plus 127% for about a 2X. So that would be Bitcoin going back down to 40K in January of 2020, if we're there, if we're there. And everyone is going to feel the wrath of the Grim Reaper. They will then start to realize Bitcoin is a speculative game, just like everything else. It's just one of the greatest Ponzi game ever because it birthed all the rest of the Ponzi casino games, just like the stock market, okay? You can't, as a Bitcoin maxi, possibly defend this, but they will try to. They'll, of course, they'll try to. Why? Because they got in under a thousand bucks. From a thousand bucks to 30 or 40K, they're up 30 to 40X minimum, all right? You didn't get in under a thousand dollars, okay? I was, look, I bought Bitcoin at 3,200, went all in, all right? And even I'm feeling the pain. So imagine everybody else who's bought and buying Bitcoin at 30 or 50K, okay? And you're going to realize Bitcoin and XRP, they ain't too differently because Bitcoin after what? Literally after 3,000 days, friends, eight years, that's what we're going to do. We're going to show, wow, after eight years, all Bitcoin can do was plus 2X. Congratulations. You all got grifted by Bitcoin Maxi. So good thing is, friends, when this appears, I'll be thinking about the next two to three years, okay? So we're, I'm always ahead of the game. That's why no one really, people think things are changing. No, no, no. Things aren't changing. It's the crowd today, what I always tell you, friends, the newbies invest based off today, okay? The newbies based off, invest off today, all right, okay? So 60% of people, 30% of people try to look at yesterday's trend, which is from a few years back. They're trying to make a trend. They are still doing okay, okay? The top 10%. The winners, the people who actually bring home the bread, the fluffy slipper wearers, okay? The people who are actually winning the game, they're thinking about the future because the insiders control the future narrative. That's why markets move the way they do. You ever wonder why did why did why did we stop at 15k? It's because obviously we ran out of sellers. Why? Because the big insiders had no reason to sell because they knew the next narrative that's coming. You might even say they control the narrative that's coming. You might even say they knew. Some sort of ETF is coming along the horizon. They know that's coming, friends. So I've made you friendlier, smarter, wiser. I appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget, like, subscribe, press the bell button, all friends. Tell mom and dad we're still going to make it. We are playing for the future. Everyone else is playing in the past. Catch you in the next one.